Hello and welcome to my Mega Man X6 and Suisan Invincibility tutorial for Captain America. Basically I'm going to show you exactly what you want to do in a little bit, a few different areas. Start off with Blizzard Wolfang. This one's the one where you actually have to like try. So yeah, you want to you most other like people like trying to like get good at this will uh, often use the slope here to gain speed. You don't need to use the slope. I just do that. Just mess up. Mess up again. There you go. You can just walk. It's pretty simple to walk. But if you really want to, you can use the slope. I've never done it with the slope. So I can't time it, but I see people say that that's easier. So what you want to do is you want to slip off, and right as you're about to fall off, you want to use the Ensuis on. Like this. You can do this off of any, like, slippy surface whatsoever. Like that. Every time you see... Alright, here's the full Ensuis on. It's a full circle. Every time you see it get cut off like that, it's not a full circle. That means you got the glitch. That even was the glitch. If you don't see the circle appear at all, but it still makes the sound, then that means you got it on the very first frame, so you don't even see the circle at all. That's how you do it slipping off of ice there. You can do it slipping off of ice in Shield Sheldon stage as well. Which I'm going to show you right now. Pretty much the same concept. Except you can't use, like, a slope to your advantage. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Okay. And there we go. There you go. Now you're invincible. You can also ensues on invincibility in other areas. An easier area to do it in would be Command to your mark stage. This is much easier. All you need to do is stand on top of an object and ensues on. And boom. So, this bug, I'll show you what happens. It does that when you attack it. So if you stand on top of it, and it's always on, you'll fall through it, and then become invincible. Here's a note, though. Uh, as you can see, there's an armor capsule here. When you go into an armor capsule, it initiates a cutscene. Cutscenes will cancel out your invincibility. Uh, like anything with text, anything where you lose control, uh, like Metal Shark Player, uh, on the second screen, initiating the mini-boss, you lose control, and thus you would lose invincibility. Another thing that loses invincibility is doing the Insuizan again, and then or doing the Sen Suizan. Both of them have the same uh, invincible, invincible, invincible property, where you start off reset your state to regular invi like invincibility and then you have like about 30 or 40 frames of invincibility in which you can cut it off uh, I'll show you another instance of invincibility on this stage you would never use invincibility here in a run because you won't have Ensuis on by the time you get here. But, might as well show off anyway. Hey. Not used to having all these powers here. Alright. So, coming up is the platform segment. You can get invincibility off of these platforms. You can get invincibility off of pretty much any platform segment, including the one in... Uh, actually, no. I don't know if you can get it. In the gate stage 2. I've never really tried. And there we go. What happened was this... This um, platform here... Ah, I just missed it. It pushes you off of this platform here. You can get invincibility. I missed it again. 
Anyway, you get the general idea. It's not like that's useful at all. So, I'll go ahead and show you Metal Shark Player. This one's pretty easy as well. The only thing here is, uh, since I'm playing on the PS2 version, I won't be able to get invincibility on this first screen here. If you play on the PS2 version as well, you also won't be able to get invincibility. Whoops. Because of a glitch. Pay attention to the right of the screen. Tell me if you see random explosions. Oh, like right there. And there. And there. Those random explosions are the destructible blocks in the stage exploding for no reason. That's a weird bug that only happens in the PlayStation 2 version of Mega Man X Collection. But you just shouldn't have to worry about it. If you're trying to speedrun all stages, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Invincibility doesn't speed this area up at all. You can make every single jump just like you would with invincibility without it. it just takes more practice, I guess. But you can get invincibility on the second screen, which is what I'm going to be showing. You can get it in two different ways, actually. But one way is more practical. One way is just to look cool. Alright, so this second screen is not affected by the aforementioned bug that happens on PS2. So as you notice, there's ice here from Blizzard Wolf Fang's Nightmare Effect. You can use that to get invincibility off of right there to the left, but you can also just do these blocks. One thing to keep in mind though, when you have invincibility, you can still be crushed. This crusher here will still kill you no matter what, if you're underneath of it. For example, boom, I'm dead. Another thing that negates invincibility like, and it kills you anyways, it's just open bottomless pits. Spike pits you can land in, want to, like, stand on the spikes. Open pits, that's not... can't do that. As you can see here, that's invincibility there. You can also get invincibility on Scaravich via breaking the blocks in the same way. You can also get invincibility on gate stage 1. I don't have actually access to that stage right now, but trust me, you can get it off of the ice there, similar to how you can in Wolfang stage. You can get it in gate stage 2. It's really difficult. I'm not even going to bother explaining it. You can get it in gate, on the gate fight, actually. In the fight with gate, you can get invincibility. You can also get it on final sigma. Which I will show right now. I think what I'm gonna do, since I don't actually have access to, uh, like, a gate, you know, save state or anything, I'm just gonna crop in videos of me getting the glitch in, like, a PB or something, so. After this, I will show you how to get it on gate and explain that as well. But the way you do it on Sigma is pretty much the way you do it on, you know, Metal Shark Player, Ground Scaravich, Commander you mark. It's just a block and you break it. But in this case it's not really a block, it's more of a cylindrical-ish platform. <laughs> nice emulator noises. Top quality. Okay. And here's Hell Sigma. Here is the object you wanna and Sui's on. Boom. Invincible. You can be crushed. I won't like you can be crushed by this thing. If it moves to the right of the screen, you can be crushed with this uh, wall here. You can also get crushed underneath of it, or on top of it like this. Now you lose invincibility. If 
fun fact, that's his weakness. Don't want to use that since that cancels invincibility. Ah, uh, whoops. Just got it and then cancelled it out. Anyway, I'll show you gate invincibility in just a second. Okay, so here is a clip from my current PB in Mega Man X6 All Stages. So you can see this blue orb here, uh, it slowly pulls you. And you want to land, or you want to stand on a platform, and then Sui's on right before you, it pulls you off of the platform. Similar to how the ice in Wolf Fang works, except you don't control the speed. You just have to memorize the timing. And yeah, it's probably the hardest in uh, invincibility. I'll show it off again. Okay. So here, just notice, slowly pulls you toward the uh, the blue orb, and you want to position yourself on the very edge of the platform, and then ensue is on, right as you fall off. You want to position yourself as close to the edge as possible so you don't have the risk of gate ramming into you while you're trying to get the trick down, which will probably happen quite a bit. <laughs> 